You've just got to burn the crap out of it. Hello, I'm Greg and welcome back to another episode of The Pot Thickens. I'm just out here for a walk in beautiful Fargo, North Dakota. It's actually warm out. It's plus 20 degrees, not minus 20 degrees. So we're counting our blessings, hoping to get a little bit of exercise for the new year and uh, get on track with my New Year's resolutions. I want to talk about roasted red peppers today because I love that sweet smoky flavor of a good roasted red pepper and I like to keep some in my fridge all the time just to make sure I have some on hand when I need to throw some on a sandwich or put it into a salad. So come along I'm going to show you three simple steps to making the perfect roasted red pepper. Step one, throw that pepper into the fire and burn the crap out of it. You can see I've taken this red pepper and placed it directly onto my gas burner so that the flames are licking into the skin of the pepper. If you don't have a gas burner, you can certainly do this in the oven in the broiler. Put this on a sheet pan up close to those burners and uh, broil it until it's completely charred. You want to check it every few minutes and turn it to make sure that all sides get completely blackened. It'll take about 10 or 15 minutes to completely char this pepper. Keep going, it's not black enough. In the summertime, you can do this directly on the grill also. You wanna keep turning that pepper until all sides are blackened, including the ends. We're almost there, but it's still not black enough for me. Sorry for the blurry video. I'm working on my camera skills, but I, I'm just not quite there yet. But hang with me, we'll get there. Once we have every bit of that skinned as blackened as possible, you're done with a step and we can turn off the flame. Step two, put that hot pepper into a closed container or a plastic bag and let it steam. It'll take about 15 minutes or more to cool down so it's cool enough to handle for the next step. Just leave it alone and let it do its thing. Step three, take the pepper out of the container and let's gently remove the skin with a knife. You can see how nicely this charred skin is just sliding right off of the pepper. It comes off pretty easily where it was really charred and underneath is just beautiful bright red, sweet, smoky pepper. I like to get the pepper as clean as possible, but it's okay if little bits of skin still stick to it in the end. It just adds to that smoky charred flavor that you want in a roasted red pepper. You can see some of these places where it didn't quite get burnt enough, like in the creases of the pepper, uh, the skin sticks a little bit more, but that's okay. That's also just perfectly fine for the flavor of the pepper. What you don't want to do is wash this under running water because I think that just washes away flavor. You want as much of that smoky charred flavor as possible in the red pepper. Once you get the pepper as clean as you want to, you want to uh, slice it open and then remove the seeds and the veins from the pepper and then slice it up however you like to have it in your dishes.
And that's it, three steps to the perfect roasted red pepper. If you like what you've seen in this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click the like button, click the subscribe button, and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Thank you so much for your support and helping me grow this channel.